Hello, my sweet reader friends. Today is a very cold and rainy April spring day. So I thought that it'd be really fun and it's Friday. So I thought it would be really fun to do a cozy little spring rainy weekend reading vlog. I feel like I haven't done a cozy reading vlog in so long. I've just been like, I don't know if you've watched my last couple videos, I've just been in such a weird like slump and I haven't really been wanting to like pick up books and I haven't really been, been enjoying the books I'm reading, but I feel like I am finally out of my book slump, like completely out of my book slump because I have been just dying to lay in my bed or chair or wherever, get cozy and read my books. I've just been dying to get back into these worlds and just love on my books. I just finished A Court of Mist and Fury last night and then I also just finished Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies like literally 10 minutes ago. And oh my gosh, I just, that was like two five-star reads in like 24 hours. So I'm just, I'm on a roll right now and I'm excited and I'm ready to read more, a lot this weekend. <laughs> That's honestly all I wanna do this weekend. I, I don't really have have plans this weekend besides tonight. I am going to my in-person book club and this book this book was my in-person book club's read for March so we're gonna talk about it tonight and then tonight when I get back from that I think I'm going to start the reappearance of Rachel Price. I don't know after reading this book in A Court of Mist and Fury I'm kind of like in my fae and like fantasy era like I just want to keep reading about these magical places and people and things but I also have been just itching to get into this book so I don't know we'll we'll see like when I get home what I'm feeling but I think I'm gonna pick up this book because I don't want to like overdo it and hyper fixate on you know the fey world and fantasy and stuff because then i'll get sick of it you know so i want to kind of like mix things up a bit so yeah i think i'm gonna pick this one up and i'm just oh my gosh i'm so excited i feel like this is a five star prediction so if i could have three well actually i rated this a 4.5 but that's literally only because the plot itself got i don't know a little bit confusing and i feel like it was just a little bit lacking like an actual storyline sometimes but I just love this book so much so like I want to give it five stars but I feel like it might be like a 4.5 or a 4.75 I don't know but anyway that's beside the point if this is a five star book then that's literally like three near five star books that I have read in the last like 24 to 48 hours so that would be great if this ended up being another five star which I'm predicting that it will be I did get rid of a tote of books yesterday because if you watched my last video my like 30 day reset video I got like really convicted about like all my stuff and just like how much book shopping I do and how much like material collection that I've been doing and so I got rid of quite a few books that I wasn't reading or that have been on my shelf for too long and so now my bookshelves are actually like looking a little bit bare. <laughs> I have really big spaces on like each bookshelf now because I just, I got rid of a lot. So with that, I have allowed myself to go out and get maybe one or two books that I'm either really excited for or that are five-star predictions. So in this vlog, maybe we will unhaul a few more books and then also maybe get one or two that I know for a fact that I will love. <laughs> Cause that's my thing. I'm like putting rules around my book buying now so I'm not just gonna buy like any book that looks interesting and I'm not gonna go buy books like just for fun like if I do want to read a book that I'm kind of iffy about or that I know I probably won't reread then I'm gonna try and get it on my Kindle or get it through my library and I'm only gonna buy books when they are either five-star predictions or I already know I love them like this book I ordered another version of this book. It was used, so it was really, really cheap, but I just, I loved it so much that I wanted to get the like Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. So I ordered it off of Pango. So yeah, I'm only allowing myself to buy books if it's something that I already love and will re and will reread, or if it's like a five-star prediction, or if it's a continuation of a series that I already like. So those are like my rules. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to get ready to go here in a minute and then I will update you guys when I come home and start the reappearance of Rachel Price. <laughs>
brought back from my little library and Barnes and Noble trip. And I have some fun things to share. I didn't end up getting anything at Barnes and Noble. Honestly, I just am being so picky right now with what I'm buying and I just didn't like, there was a lot of like ideas of books that I got to add to my TBR and there was a lot of things that I could have gotten, but I was just trying to be smart and not buy things. And I found quite a bit at the library that I want to get to somewhat soon. So I just didn't, yeah, didn't feel the need to buy anything at Barnes and Noble, but it was still a really fun, little time. So I got six books at the library. Three of them are literally just hiking and camping books, just hiking Idaho and backpacking Idaho. So if you're interested in that, like this is what I got of those. And then the actual like fiction books that I got are Jennifer Donnelly's Poisoned. This is a Snow White retelling or reimagining. I don't really know what to call them. And then I got A Tempest of Tea. This is going to be such a fun read, I feel like. It just recently came out and I didn't know that she was also the author who wrote uh, We Hunt the Flame, that duology or trilogy. I don't know what it is, but that's who wrote this. And then what I went there to pick up in the first place is Finley Donovan Rolls the Dice. I'm so excited. I have read the first three books. This is the fourth book in the series. And I've just absolutely loved the series so much. The last book, I didn't love as much as the first and second books, but it ended on kind of a cliffhanger. So I, but I read it like a year ago when that came out. So now I need to like read the ending of that to like jog my memory as to what is happening right now in the series, but I kind of remember for the most part, maybe I just need to do like a quick overview. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I got there. It is freezing cold today. It was literally snowing all night last night and then a tiny bit like early, early this morning. And because it is spring now, I don't think the plants and the trees were expecting that. So with the snowfall, I think it like snowed a little bit and then it turned kind of into just like heavier ice snow on the trees. So all throughout my city, like these trees are just, there's tree branches everywhere and like pretty decent size branches that just broke off because of the heaviness of the snow. And so when I went out to my car today, there was just this massive branch that was stuck between my car and my fiance's car. So that was interesting. And then it's also been raining the last couple days. So the parking lot to Barnes and Noble, well, well part of it, like the back part of the parking lot, was literally a lake. It was a lake. Like it was, I swear, over a foot of water in this parking lot. So you had to like drive through this massive puddle of water just to get to the normal parking lot that was not flooded. So that was also interesting. Last night, I actually didn't end up going to my book club because my stomach started acting up like literally right before I was going to go. And then I have been in a really big sci-fi movie mood. So I've been watching Godzilla for the last couple weekends. I think last weekend I watched the 2014 Godzilla. And then last night I watched the 2019 Godzilla with Millie Bobby Brown in it. And I'm just loving these movies so much. I've been searching for books that have like the same vibe. And I read, la or I think it was either last year or two years ago, I read the Kaiju, Kaiju Preservation Society and that was fun, but it just wasn't like, like the vibes were fun, but I didn't really love like the overall storyline. I don't know, it just like, I think I rated it like a 3.5 or 3.75 ish, but books like that, just books with like, that are sci-fi, but they aren't spacey. They're like Jurassic Park type of vibes, you know? I want more books like that. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. But with that said, I didn't get to read or start the reappearance of Rachel Price. So now that I'm home, I'm going to start this book and I'm so excited. I didn't realize that it was a little bit longer of a book. It's like 430 pages. So I'm probably hoping I'm going to finish it uh, by like Monday or Tuesday. It is Saturday now, but I don't know if it gets like really, really good. I might just binge a lot of it tonight. We'll see. I don't really have plans, which has been phenomenal. I have not had a day where I just have like 
absolutely no plans in so long. Like I can't remember the last day I just had like no, nothing to do, no plans, nothing on my calendar, nothing on my planner and just like let the day go by. And it was beautiful. It was great. I only checked the time a few times just to like, I don't know, see what time it was. But I love those days where you just don't have anything to do and you don't have to do anything that you don't even check the time because you're like I'm just gonna be today I'm just going to exist in the world and like do my thing and it was great it's been great so I'm gonna continue that and then I will update you guys when I'm a little bit through this book so I'm about 45 pages in to this book now and there is a few things that I'm like ooh, something's not adding up and I don't know if like because I've just read so many thrillers and because I'm such like a thriller person and mystery person I'm just always finding like little inconsistencies and I'm always like trying to point out things that like might not even be an important detail but literally just the smallest thing the smallest thing that like for some reason just does not add up, I immediately get suspicious. So right now what's happening is the documentary crew is at I think Belle's house, which is our main character. And like most of the family is there and they're watching like old homemade videos. And then her aunt just like says something about like the timeline of her being pregnant and having Belle's cousin Carter. And so I don't know, there was just something, there was something weird there. There was something suspicious. And now I'm so curious as to like what's going on there and if there is something that they're hiding. And I also get some kind of suspicious vibes from the grandpa. I don't know. I feel like I'm making something out of nothing, but I'm gonna hold on to these thoughts. I feel like this might be a book where the family itself has secrets, you know? And so I'm just so curious to see where this goes. I'm gonna continue reading. I just wanted to say these things before I kept reading because if I end up being right, I told you so. I'm currently on page 88 and Rachel Price just reappeared, but things are not adding up. Things are not adding up. Something suspicious, something sketchy about this, and I am so intrigued. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is like, I haven't read Gone Girl. I've only seen the movie, but this is like giving a little bit Gone Girl vibes because I feel like there's something that they are not telling us that happened between Belle's mom and dad, Rachel and Charlie, before she went missing. Like there's just, there's so much that is missing that I'm so intrigued to find out because there's no way. There's literally just no way. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep reading. I'll check back in a little bit. <laughs> Hello friends, it is now Sunday ap afternoon. It is like 2.45 p.m. And so last night I got to page 163, so chapter 19 in The Reappearance of Rachel Price. And oh my gosh, I'm loving it. It is amazing so far. And I, there's so many things, so many things that I'm like, this is so suspicious. This is, something's wrong. Like something is not adding up. And I'm just eating it up. It honestly took everything in me to put it down last night, but it was like 11 p.m. And I had to get up semi-early. And I was like, I literally cannot allow myself to stay up until 3, 4 a.m. finishing this book. So we're getting back into it now. I didn't realize on Holly Jackson's Instagram, she posted something about this book. And in the description of the photo, she was saying like the title of the book, but then she also said, why a gone girl in reverse? So my initial like reaction wasn't totally off because she herself said that it was like gone girl. And that's just totally the vibes that it's giving off. So I'm just, I'm so intrigued and I'm so excited to get back into it. So I'm going to do that. I have my little smoothie and I did just make breakfast for lunch and it was amazing. And I have a worship night at my church in like four hours, three hours. So 
I'm going to spend the next couple hours sitting here and reading as much as I possibly can of this book and then maybe when I'm done I'll hopefully be able to finish it tonight. I literally just filmed this whole outro and I did not realize that I did not have my microphone plugged in so take two. Anyway so I finished the reappearance of Rachel Price. I loved it so much. It was so good. Dare I say I liked it I think nearly as much as A Good Girl's Got to Murder. I don't know. Ugh, I don't even know where to start. Okay um First of all, the characters. Okay, I feel like the characters were supposed to be a little bit unlikable, some of them. Um, but like, especially with Belle, I feel like I could definitely see how people might not like her because she's kind of like, I don't know, she just like pushes people, she has abandonment issues, right? So she just like pushes people away. And so some people might take that as like being unlikable, but I think it's just kind of like a defense mechanism. And she's actually just this like sweet and hurt. And she's a very strong girl. And I just, I really liked her actually. And I've really loved her interactions with Ash who is the documentary's camera assistant. I feel like she was just so like purposely unpleasant to him and he just like knew that's like how she was and he just like would put up with it and like ride along with it and it was just so sweet and I just loved it so much and I really hope that there's like a sequel to this so that I could see more of them. The story itself. Oh, wow. There's so many twists and turns and secrets and reveals and my head was spinning because there was just so much I feel like a lot of things I like semi predicted but there was just like so much more to it that I just did not guess. I love a good mystery thriller where like the whole family just has so many secrets because it's literally like an onion like there's just so many layers that you're peeling back and there's so many like reveals and like what the heck and it just it's crazy it's crazy and I think that that's what happened with this book and I just ate it uh, I was going through this so quickly, but I didn't want it to end. And this book is like 430 pages. And like, I'm usually, my max is like 400 pages, right? Like anything above that, I'm kind of like, okay, this is too long. But this book, I literally was like, I could keep reading this. Like, I don't want this to end, but I also do because like, I want to know what happens, right? I'm impatient, but I was just savoring this book that I just, I don't know, I just didn't want it to end. Not only is this book extremely like twisty and crazy, but it also got kind of emotional. And it like, by the end of the book, I was heartbroken, but I was also like, oh my gosh, this is so cute and so wholesome, but also like, oh my gosh, this is so sad. So I just had, I had a lot of feelings by the end of the book. Overall, five stars. Easy, easy five stars. I really loved the just like filming aspect in general of this book because obviously I really like to make videos. I like to make, you know, cinematic things and I like to do photography and all that stuff. Like all that is my jam. So to have a book where like they're literally like filming a documentary, I don't know, it was just a very fun like atmosphere and it was a very fun thing to kind of like go through with them. I really liked the documentary crew characters as well. And especially by the end of the book, I just, oh my gosh, it was so sweet. And I just really hope, like I said, I really hope there's a sequel to this so that we can see more of like the aftermath of all of this. I don't know, overall, I just loved it. I just freaking loved it and I don't know what else to say about it besides that. I'm so freaking happy that I am out of my reading slump now because I'm just so excited to pick up so many books now and I'm just in a huge reading mood. So with that said, I'm also going to start filming a video, honestly, probably tomorrow and just the rest of probably this week and some of next week. And that is going to be a like finishing series that I'm in the middle of because I just got Ruthless Vows on Libby. So that is the second book to Divine Rise. So I'm listening to that and then I also have A Court of Wings and Ruin that I'm gonna get 
um, here pretty soon. And then I have the fourth Finley Donovan book. And those are all books and series that I am in the middle of and that I'm trying to finish soon. So very exciting reading plan. As for this video though, that is the end. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Please, if you've been thinking about picking up this book and especially if you liked A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, then I think you'll really like this one. And let me know your thoughts. I would love to chat because I know that it literally just came out. So a lot of people have not read. I don't even know if it is, oh yeah, it is out now. I know a lot of people have not read this yet. So I need people to talk about it with. So if you have read it, or if you're going to be reading it soon, please let me know because then we can chat. But yes, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.